What's the crack lads and welcome back to another player review. We are taking a look at the beast, the monster, one of my favorite players in the game, Gretzka. Now we are going to be focusing on his standard version and we are going to be focusing on the midfield magicians. But just look at the movement that he has. This is the best thing about Gretzka lads. He is... I'm going to say it right, he is the best box-to-box -box player in the game. He is absolutely insane. He's got like bags and bags and bags of player skills and he's just able to get up and down the pitch. Even though he doesn't have the best individual stats for his position compared to some other players that stack out quite well. In this episode, we will be featuring a lot of clips from his standard card and also this marvelous midfielders as well. This version of him is super overpowered, right? And I'm going to give you a couple of training tips. Now, lads, look, with any of the players I do individually, they are tested by, you know, I play about 50 games with them to see what they're like, how they handle it in every situation. And I think the thing that stands out for me most about Goretzka, apart from getting his, you know, his ball winning ability, there are better players there that will win the ball back, but then they don't know what to do with it. And I think Goretzka is just the perfect blend for a box to box player that he doesn't have the best stamina. He doesn't have the best passing skills, the best dribbling stats. He doesn't have the best of anything really, but he is for one, 280,000, I think a top five player in the game. I know that that's probably a little dramatic because I do love him so much. But you'll see how I train him up towards the end of this video and a couple of the clips you'll see when we slow it down just how good this guy's AI movement is. I mean, he's playing chess while other centre midfielders are playing checkers. That's how good he is. And again, you're always going to get the, the centre midfielders that have a lot of his stats defensively. Like, they will be able to break up tackles. They'll be able to stop, you know, the flow of your opponent and stuff. But it's this guy's movement and his passing is just... Everything is just... Everything is just, it just works. Like, there's no complication with Goretzka. It, he's kind of what you see is what you get with him. Obviously, you're going to have better specialized players like De Bruyne as a center midfielder with insane passing. You're going to have really good defensive center midfielders that have anchorman. But Goretzka is just like a mix of everything. And if you are an average to good player, you will dominate in midfield if you do not come up against Goretzka. I don't come up against him too often. I always come up against the likes of Davids or whatever. Um, we have different versions of him here. I have the older version of Goretzka which goes to 28 levels. The new version of him for 280,000 we saw a minute ago is actually better stats-wise. But this guy, the actual marvelous midfielders guy, this is the guy I've been using quite a bit because of the team play style, because of the player skills, and the way that we've trained him up as well, which we'll show you in just a second as we just focus on a few more clips of him and show you his AI, show you his movement. This is how we have trained him up. I would probably make a couple of changes here from the way I've trained him up based on the fact that I have played 50 plus games with Goretzka where I've been really researching how he plays, how he moves, how he tracks on the field. That is how I would train him up there. You can pause the video and take a screen of that. And look, this is what it's all about with Goretzka lads. It's his movement. Is that like he is very attack based but he's able to win so many balls. And even though we don't score here, look at his positioning for a CMF here. I'm just playing a flat 4-4-2 in this formation or a 5-3-2 in this formation. And you'll just see the AI runs of Goretzka. I'm not even controlling him. And look at the positioning that he takes up. He's just going to carve open a chance for me. Lovely ball in into Cristiano and Ronaldo will just square it for a sweaty finish. And you'll see this time and time and time again. Watch again here. You'll see the position that he takes up. Romario gets the ball. It's spread out to Ronaldinho it's cut back in now this is where we want Goretzka and once we get the ball with Goretzka we're going to do it very quickly because his team are off balance little touch the run he creates the angle for himself and then boom on the left foot now when you look at Goretzka's stats you might say that's not in his bag but trust me lads he can do it now, a lot of this depends on how you actually play yourself. If you're not a run and gun, if you're not kind of a possession based player and you don't like breaking up attacks, then, you know, you probably will get a better center midfielder to play the role of Goretzka. You know, he is kind of an, a kind of a player that you have to play a specific way. I would say that this formation is going to suit him because he's going to cover so much ground there and you can manually track the runs, manually run him up any position in here, but eventually you're going to be trying to get him in just in to that attack and midfielder position and cover in there but then on the flip side if you want to have him defensive you can have Modric or somebody like that that's your ball playing attack and midfielder slash center midfielder and then Goretzka mopping up anywhere that Cloud Makalele doesn't with a formation like this of a 4-5-1 
so yeah, there is a lot going on with this card, lads. And I think this kind of sums up Goretzka. These couple of clips sum up Goretzka when the game is in the mixer and you're really struggling to get your foot on the game uh, or your, your foot on the, on the pedal to actually push on and get that second goal. Lovely pass. It is a brilliant finish from Neymar, but watch again the run from Goretzka. We also have here, when he gets the ball at his feet, he doesn't have insane dribbling stats, lads. He doesn't have like 90 dribbling and 90 passing, but he just does everything perfect. Like everything is on a plate. His passing range, his pace of his passing, his blocking lanes defensively. I haven't really even focused on the defensive side of things, but it's just in those little intricate, you know, pops or spaces like those little holes he is also able to score as well as we've seen time and time again you will see him pop up with those chances every now and again you get him into these positions look at that a 180 pass gets the ball back in and he's there for the finish so that all starts with Goreska and it ends with Goreska he is a machine lads an absolute machine and that brings us on to one actually one more thing right before we just focus on that I did mention about training him up you do need to kind of make a decision how you want to train him up whether you want to have him a little bit more defensive or whether you want to have him more attacking I would definitely recommend 100% recommend having played with him it, this would be my top tip for Goretzka and it does kind of factor into the rating I'm going to give him I would definitely have his attack and uh, defense awareness, both of them, I would definitely have him 80, minimum 80, because that means he will cover every blade of grass and you will have a very, very solid player, such as this build here. If you want to stay more defensive, you can focus on the defensive side of the game by choosing different tactics individual play style or individual tactics within your game plan so you can keep him defensive you can keep him anchoring or you can put him man marking on your opponent's attacking midfielder or your opponent's ss or center forward if you want him to be mopping up from the back and not getting us forward but listen lads he is a swiss army knife he can do it all and that is why he gets our second 10 out of 10 rating pedri got our first 10 out of 10 rating goretzka deserves his 10 out of 10 lads he is one of my favorite players if you are struggling in midfield if you are struggling to get your foot on the ball and you just can't figure out why you're just losing you know a lot of matches in midfield even though the game bypasses midfield a bit definitely try Goretzka it'll be the best 300,000 that you can spend train him up similar to this don't worry about his dribbling don't worry about his passing being higher than 85 and then just focus on actually being an all-round action man on the pitch and that is why he is 10 out of 10 for me he's one of my favorite players I definitely definitely recommend him I can't recommend him enough he has been game changing for me since I bought him way back when and we have taken our time in reviewing him next up we are going to have Dembele who a lot of people have been asking me for hopefully and if you want to see another review make sure and subscribe and let me know in the comments below and I will talk to you in a bit peace